Okay, my name is Dave, and we're at, in Brunswick, um, Brunswick, Ohio. And what's the date today? Anybody got that? 10th. Yeah, so April 10th, 2012. Okay, so, so today what I want to explain to you, you know, how the power of the Almighty has given each individual keys to the sky, keys to the kingdoms to, un to unleash the power of the heavens unto you. Like the power is working through me, he would also you to partake and allow it to work through you. So the message, I would say the production, the voice of his reasoning ability for you to comprehend is not about me, but it is about the whole world. Like, you know, our vision of going into the future, representing our eyes, the vision for 2020 and beyond. So therefore, I would love for you to be a light and partake of the living waters of life that I will profess to you through the unity, through the spirit of my mind and body and soul. It will radiate unto you. So first of all, I, I was raised in a denominational. Um, you know, I received the Holy Ghost as a youngster. You know, and it's all been like like a tortoise, a turtle. Right now, I am the tortoise now because I feel like I'm ancient. I am well adapted now to my surroundings. But I was just like a little turtle crawling on my back for so long. Now the opportunity has arose, just like it arose for you. He is right there with you. He is right there now. He's working with the letter Q. He's working with the letter R. That's question and reason. That's for you to see as I break it all down to you. Okay, here we go. All right, so, okay, now, see, we're, we're working with 11 here, okay, which represents, through the biblical term of 11, means the faithfulness of the disciples. He had 11 that were faithful. Remember, Judas fell, and then they had, later on, they had to bring another one in. So you want to look at the vision now. When the, when, when, when this, what we are going with now is the message, is from the moment, from the moment of birth, you're working with, the two, the two, the word of and the two letters, the O and the F. Now I'm coming to you, okay? So you're just, you're roaming around and you're trying to figure out what does life have for me? What has life got for me? What is, what is the picture of all this? What is the meaning of all this? You look at the sky, you look at the clouds, you look at everything beautiful, you look at everything and you say, wow, there's something here, there's something better. And it is, it's always looking, looking, looking to get you on your feet, looking, looking, looking to take you further beyond you could ever fathom or imagine, beyond your expectations of the carnal mind. He wants to envision you. He wants to put that helmet of salvation on you. He wants you, you first you gotta accept the crowns of thorns. It may be painful at first, but then he's got the helmet for you. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, my friends. Oh yes, people in all the lands. Oh yes, oh yes, all the powers of the heavens. Oh yes, oh yes, it can be a part of you. Now, are you ready? See? So now we're working with, we're working with living words, see? We're working with, your, your, you're born, and you're wondering, what's all this about? So you walk in the rise, and mm, I need something to my life. Mm, what's with my life? You got all these thinkings, you got all these letters, you have all these words in your head. We're back to the first W. You see that? So you got the words in your head. You have the words. They're right there. They're right before your very eyes. They're right before your very eyes. They're right before you to partake and grab them in and grasp them with the strength of the power of your hands. And then you go on to the, the, use the letter O uh, from there going back into the W. Then you use the letter O. Then you have wow, W O. Wow, we're on to something. What's, what does the O stand for? What does the O stand for? It stands for, it stands for opportunities, right? See that? So then we go to of, right? Then we put the F up there, right? So the, so the O represents of. It goes right into six. Boom, the number six. So then you got opportunities. You use the F. You have every opportunities flourish all around you. You're like, wow. Then you take, then you take the word opportunity and flourish and you put the one to one, you put 11 there. Oh, what's going on? Then you put ING. So opportunities, flourishing. Oh, you have that runway now, right between you. Oh, 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 we're back to letters now. Oh, we're back to another W. Wow, we're back to W. Wow, wisdom. Wow, wow, W, O, W, words of wisdom. You got it, you got it. Oh, it's all yours. Look, 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 look. Oh, good, good, good. Yay, let it go. So now, you have it, 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 you have it. You have W, O, W, 
which is wow, words of wisdom. So now you're working with that word of again, opportunity, flourish. Now, you gotta put the K in there. Wow, you have two Ks. So throughout this lifetime, you're gonna be working with four letters. You're gonna working with a B, right, which is big, which is then you're gonna put words there, then you're gonna put little. So you have big, words, little, B, L, boom. So you're working, right, so there. So now you go up to the C, right? So you have capital and lowercase, right? So now let's see, let's go back to, let's go back to big and little, right, which represents better, better living, okay, it's right there. Big, little, means better living. Or, or no, no, not better living, I mean better life. Then you want to be a BL means better life, better life. BL, better life. Now, so, so you got a better life for you right now, because you work with big and little. So then, then you go over here, and then you have a C, which is the capital, right? Which represents, which represents control, right? Then you have the other L, which is lowercase, which represents, which represents controlled living, better life. It's all for you to partake of. You got to go to the scriptures. It's all in alignment. It's all in alignment. It's all there. See, I open it up now. See, and then you go right like this throughout your life. You're going to be working with 11 11 throughout your whole entire life. And it's a beautiful thing. I mean, it's so, it's beyond my comprehension. You know, I just, I just want you to open up, I just want you to open up the Bible, you know, the, the ultimate authority, you know, for our lives, for the world. It's all, it's all interrelated. Things come together. So, you know, it's not about you being right or wrong or doing this or that. It's about you. It's about you becoming one with the Spirit of Almighty. It's about coming forth in the power and the resurrection of the cosmos. You can have this. It's right for you. Let's go to Genesis 1 and, and verse 3. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Now pause there. Also, I want you to take that three and turn it into the C, right? So this is, this is completing for you. See that? This is bringing completeness to you, soothing to your soul, soothing to your mind. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Hey, man, hallelujah, I can feel you now. I can feel you now. I can feel you now. Flowing, 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 flowing. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. You see that? You see that? Then you go down to the four. He gives you the power of the light, light from day. Three and four is seven, you see? You're going to be working with seven. You got, you got to work with seven. Seven is a powerful number. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. So see, that's where it's going to start for you. That's where it's going to start for you. He's going to hold it up so you can work with 11. He's going to take you. He's going to take you into the word sky, which represents now, the ultimate power, blue. Now, blue, blue is a beautiful color. It's one of, it's one of my favorites. And he's going to open it up to you. He's going to show you S and Y. He's going to open it up to you. He's going to use the letter E with you. You know, which is the fifth, which is the fifth part of the alphabet. A, B, C, D. It's five, right? You take the K, right? You have two Ks. It's represent lowercase and capital. What we're talking about, lowercase and capital, capital and lowercase, represents control, living. He wants to control. He wants you to be in control of your life. He wants you to understand how sky works. So you take the, so the K goes between 11 and 11, goes out. So you have the runways open up under you between the S and the Y. Wow. Right. Look at all that flowing. Look, 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 look. You have right in the middle a, a runway. You have to the left a runway. You have to the right of one way. Wow. Wow. All that strength. Wow, it's flowing to you. Wow. And then what's it tell you? It tells you to add, it tells you to add up. Use the alphabet as your source of enlightenment. What's it speaking of? Let me explain. Let me explain. So you have S, which is a 19. 19 letter of the alphabet. Okay, so remember 19. K is 11. We already separated the 11 11. Then you have the Y, right? You have it right there, which is 25. You add it up. Anybody knows math, if you don't, ask your parents, ask somebody, get the help you need to seek to have the light to open up under you. So you add 19, 11, and 25, which is going to make two fives, 55. So there you are. So you're going to go right in the middle between two fives, right? And then all you got to do is working, you'll be working with right in the middle. You'll be the six. You put up your hands. I'm part of the 11. Yes. Oh, right there. I lean to the I lean to the five. I'm working with the runway. I'm working with the runway. I'm working with 11. I lean to the left and right. I'm leaning to the right. I lean to the left. You're the six working with five. You're right in the middle. But you're, and then see, you've got to continue to do that. You have to continue to do math. Jesus died right between two crosses, the left and the right. So you go middle, middle, center, and between, right? And it goes into the word labyrinth. 
and labyrinth represent, you look up symbols, it represents faith, inevitable truth, prevailing. So, so you have to look at five. But, you, but, the, the great, but the greatest thing of what you see right here, you're right in the middle of 55, is that I just, I just don't want you to see the E, you know, which is what means, you know, eternity, you know, endless, which means eight, you know, which represents an infinite symbol. You have to provide your reasoning ability into this by working. See, when you, when you, when you, work, when you work with the letter eight, which I will now show you what I'm doing here. How do I get 11, 11 working with 8? See, you have, you have your hands like this. See, the bridge, the two thumbs coming together make the bridge. And you have 11, 11, right? It goes into 8, just like that. Boom. And then you go in the alphabet. Hmm, what's 8? Well, let's see. 7 is G. G, H is 8. So you got the heavens right there. And the heavens speak and say, hey, what do I do now? What am I looking for now in my life? What do I want to do? What do I want to remember? So then, so then look, so then you use, so you use eight, right, to go right into, exactly, look, 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 I'm giving you numbers, hold on, hold on. Okay, so look, so then you question yourself, right, then you question yourself about eight, which is Q, which is 17, right? So working with, what, 17? Right, 17 and 18 are at work here. See, see that? So you, have, so, you have, so you have your numbers right there. 11 and 1 and 5. See, working with the whole 6. See? So what you want to do then is use a question with your reasoning ability. You use Q, the responsibility. See, Q and R right next to each other. So you have 8, boom, wow, stretching out to reasoning, responsibility, response, receiving. It's all there. It's all there. Wow. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's not just for me. It's to free those, to free them, to free him, to free her, so others, others can participate. Holy Lord God Almighty. Of, 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 opportunity. Opportunities flourishing. Wow, just look at it. Just look at it. The O and the F, wow, just look at it. Look at how the alphabet just goes back and forth. And then now we're going back in now. Now we're going to use the five again, right? We're going to go back into the sky. We're going to work with E. But also I want you to remember that 23 letter of the alphabet goes into W. So I want you to remember, wow. I want you that, that to go, wow, we, I can see, I can see, I can see. I can see the two W's there. I can see the five and the five there. Oh, yes, I can see. I can see the one and the five working with O. Oh, I can see me. As a six, boom, moving this way to the left, boom, moving this way to the right. He said, straight is the way, forward, ahead, I am, that I am. You will walk, you will walk through the waters, heaped up. The Lord will provide, he will stretch it out. He's lifting him up, he's lifting him up. He said, if I be exalted, if I be lifted up, I will draw, I will draw, I will draw you unto the living waters, unto power. Beyond, 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 beyond the carnal, beyond the carnal comprehension. And I'm using this vessel. I'm using this person. I'm using his vocal organs. I am using his voice. I am using his eyes. I want you to be a part of all this. I want you to explain the living, all powerful, 11, 11. I want you to see as my vessel sees. I want him not to be considered a servant, but yet as a vessel. I will be molded and remade, molded and remade. You will be at the potter's will. You are the clay. He is a vessel. You are a vessel. I will make you into a vessel, overflowing, overflowing, overflowing. I, I, I will make you a vessel. I will make you a vessel. I will make you a vessel. You will no longer have to be searching, 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 searching. Who am I going to be a servant to? No, you are a vessel. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. In the hands of the Almighty, I am serving. I am your servant because I am a servant. No one down here is a servant. We're vessels. We're vessels. We're vessels. We're vessels. I am the highest servant. I am the highest serving Christ. He is all serving Christ unto thee. Always remember that. We are vessels. Don't let anybody say, oh, I'm the, I'm the Lord's servant. They are not. They're a vessel. Even though they don't understand the comprehension, we have to understand it with loving and tenderness and caring spirit, saying, know this, you are a vessel. Word of the Christ is the almighty servant to all flesh. Always remember that. Always remember that. Don't look at man. Man is not a servant. Man is not serving us. We are being served by the Almighty. We are his vessels. We are the sheep of his pastures. Holy Lord God Almighty. We are there. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember.
always remember. Always remember. Now, see, so we, he said, remember. And see, when I wanted to take you back, see, you're working, you're working with, you know, Q, you're working with R, you're working with R, which is 18, which goes in the night. But first of all, we're not, we're not even going all that far. We're going back to, to the...